In today's video, we're going to talk you through how to take this golf grip off, keeping it in one piece. Occasionally, you might need to keep this golf grip to put onto another club that you've had reshafted, or you bought a new shaft for your driver and you want to put your old grip onto it because there's still some life in it. And it is something that can be done. Um, we use a grip shoe at the golf club and I also use another method. We'll call it the Rishmaster way. Um, Kent Nicholson has set me a challenge to see if I can still do it. It was something that I did when I first started working in the pro shop. Um, it does take a little bit of brew strength so we'll see if we can still do that. But I will do that at the end of the video so just stick around and see me struggle. The tool that we use is something called a grip shoe. So it goes down between the grip and the shaft and you slowly work it down using a little bit of white spirit. So the first thing we need to do is take a little bit of white spirit and put it on the end of the grip shoe. That will give it a little bit of lubrication. Then be really careful, just push the grip shoe in between the, the shaft and in between, in between the shaft and the grip and just slowly work it around. You might need to apply a little bit of white spirit just to push it down. That'll help unlodge the, the glue. Nice and steady. So put a little bit more white spirit down. It's not as easy not put, having a head on the on the club. So if you are doing it, and when you got to the bottom, you can, we've got the shaft with just the grip tape on it. Just take the grip tape off. If you're going to reuse this shaft, and you've got a grip that you now can put onto another golf club and saves you a little bit of money. So we've got an old grip here that I'm going to take off. The way that I was taught when I first come into the game of golf and obviously things have progressed since then. It was hard work. It obviously built you up a little bit so maybe you got a little bit more distance by doing it but we're just going to take this off the way that I was taught by by David at West End Golf Club. You know you will have seen him in the, in the videos uh, from the rules referees so we're just going to do that now. So we just need to secure it into the vise, make it nice and tight, then get yourself some fair liquid and put it all a liberal amount on, coat it around and then take in a towel, just pull it back on itself a little bit and pull it back. Pull. You need a bit of brute strength for this. Voila! Still got it. That's good. That was hard work. I remember what it was like. But the problem being is now we've got a grip that is the wrong way around. So we've got to get it back around the other way. Get an old shaft with a T-peg in the top of it, put it over the top, take the towel again, nice and steady, just pull it nice and down, like a workout. I can remember I didn't have to go back to into gym in them days and play. Imagine doing a full set of them. There you go. There you go, Ken. One out, Rishmaster way. 
shaft all ready, grip. With this method, you'd obviously just have to wash the washing up liquid off it, but it's ready to go. Got, got a bit of a sweat on there. Um, I hope you've enjoyed that video. Um, a little bit of way back when, le learning from the master, um, and also obviously the modern, the modern way that we're now using the pro shop. Thank you very much for watching. If you have yet to subscribe, do please do consider hitting that subscription button below. Thank you very much and we look forward to welcoming you on our next video.